Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Drawing with Mr. Sepulveda. I'm Mr. Sepulveda, and on today's episode, I'm going to take on a challenge. And it's a challenge that was presented by my favorite YouTuber, Pop Cross Studios. And guys, this is going to be a fun one. His challenge involves taking a character that you really enjoy drawing and taking any two to three or more um, pop culture characters and mashing them up together. And guys, I've got to tell you, I had a lot of fun with this one. And before I get too far ahead of myself, let me tell you guys, that I'm going to leave a link down below for his video that describes this challenge, okay? Um, all right, guys. So without further ado, let me tell you about the three pop culture characters that I thought about mashing up together. First one's Ben Tennyson from Ben 10, uh, definitely part of my childhood. Love drawing him all the time, especially because he can transform into all of these crazy cool aliens. All right, guys, and I don't know if you heard, but the Blue Beetle movie is out, and I'm super excited because I used to love reading the new 52 comics with um, Jaime Reyes as the Blue Beetle uh, from DC Comics, and this gave me the perfect excuse and the perfect opportunity to draw one of my favorite superheroes of all time. And I obviously couldn't finish this off without using the Dark Magician from Yu-Gi-Oh! because I was really just drawing an inspiration from all of my favorite characters that I was growing up with in my childhood. So Dark Magician, when he came out using his dark magic, you knew the game was going to turn into Yu-Gi's favor, so I had to use him. Now let's go ahead and look at my process for drawing my fusion of Ben 10, Blue Beetle, and the Dark Magician. Um, I'm going to be honest, I think I was spending an incredible amount of time trying to really figure out a pose, trying to figure out what bits and pieces that I wanted to keep because when I'm looking at Ben 10, his Omnitrix is obviously the biggest piece of him that I would want to make sure is incorporated into my design. When I look at the Blue Beetle, he's got the Scarab design on his chest, like a nice logo. He's got the black face with the blue armor, uh, the, the wings. So I wanted to incorporate that. Dark Magician's got the fancy looking like um, armor, like his shoulder pads. Um, he's got the cool looking staff on his arm. He's got the tall magician's hat. And so one of my biggest challenges when it came to designing was trying to figure out all the bits and pieces that I wanted. So I made a few attempts and they just weren't working at all. And it didn't start working at all until I began um changing up the pose a bit and I started to incorporate maybe a bit of an Omnitrix piece on his shoulder um, and I think things started to open up a little bit more and I was and when it came to the character's face I wanted it to be like half Ben 10 and then half Blue Beetle but I wanted the armor or the hat part of the armor to kind of like extend out but I didn't want it to be as big as Dark Magician's hat if that makes sense. I wanted it to be just a tiny bit smaller. Um, and underneath the purple armor, because in my head I already had the, the colors in my mind, I, I wanted it to be black, um, kind of like Blue Beetle, but I didn't know really where the legs were going to go. And you're going to kind of see a little bit of that um, as I go. When it comes to that right arm, but it's on our left side, but that right arm, I wanted it to be the magician staff because I figure with Blue Beetle's ability to create armors and things from will, like from imagination, it would make the perfect sense to have as, an, as a weapon on his arm. Um, here I am just kind of doing the lining phase. Um, I'm trying to make some tweaks, trying to add some details here and there. Um, the legs with the way they are, I did use uh, inspiration from like that Dark Magician's clothing, but I think I ultimately um, was just not satisfied. And I, I ended up turning it into one of the Blue Beetles um, boots, or I guess it's boots, right? But it's like it's armored up to his knees. Um, so I figured I'd use that. Um, and you'll see that change happen in a little bit. Um, one of my biggest struggles was definitely that staff. It just wasn't feeling right. That or... Uh, the foot that I had down, like it looked like he was floating and it wasn't really working for me. I thought I'd incorporate a little bit more Ben Tennyson sneaker into it. But then ultimately all I did was just kind of turn it upwards as if he was kind of leaping forward or about to land or about to take a step um, towards um, us or onto a ledge or something. Or he could have had like a magic little plane to kind of step on. But I wanted it to kind of be in a way that it looks like he's kind of propelling himself forward. Like he is moving forward. Okay. Um, after I kind of figured out what the colors were, what the color scheme was, I had to figure out if I was going to have some magic aura, what, what was that going to look like? Um, and I kind of struggled with that a little bit as well. There were a lot of challenges 
along the way because I really wanted this to be perfect because part of this uh, pop cross design challenge was to make the best piece of art that I can make. And um, kind of going into it, I had a lot of fun pushing myself to get different textures in the armor, textures in the wings, um, trying to make the armor like, um, let's say, Blue Beetle's uh, thighs and the Blue Beetle boot to kind of shine up a little bit. Um, I wanted a generic background because I didn't know how far I wanted to push it. But ultimately, when it comes to this piece, I was really happy with it. Um, and, and it's okay if it doesn't get chosen for, from Pop Cross Studios, but I was really stoked with the end results. I think the color in it um, is ultimately where I'm the most satisfied because I've wanted to push more of that color, more of that saturation. I wanted to push more of those textures. And I think this piece really does that for me. But some of the things that I want to work on later on in the future, especially with this, is really work on a little bit more closely with um, perspective um, and anatomy for sure. Guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this art piece. Uh, Christian Pearson, let me know if you think this is a pretty cool design. Um, and guys, if you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Give it a like. If you're new here, please consider subscribing to the Drawing with Mr. Sepulveda channel. Uh, be part of this S-Squad family, if you will. Um, also, thank you guys so much for supporting me on my art journey. I'll see you all next week on Tuesday for our regularly scheduled videos. You all have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye.